What's up guys, this is Mike the Detroit Borg with a look at the new Logitech M600 Touch Mouse, essentially Logitech's answer to Apple's Magic Mouse and Microsoft's Touch Mouse. Essentially, they're designed on the same principle. They're a single click mouse with a touch sensitive panel. So when you right and left click or scroll, you're basically touching the top of the mouse and it's determining exactly what you're intending to do. So although you have one click, uh, basically when you press down it clicks once it knows whether you intend to click left or intend to click right so you also have your unifying receiver here uh, basically this operates on the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum so this operates on radio not bluetooth so this is not a bluetooth mouse like the magic mouse now on the back you have your basic gestures left click right click vertical scrolling and back and forward but what we don't have here is horizontal scrolling so unlike the magic mouse and microsoft's uh, touch mouse you do not have vertical scrolling so instead you have just back and forward which again is pretty intuitive here you basically uh, use that for navigating through web pages to go back and forward in your history or navigating photos in your photo gallery now this is compatible with Windows 7 and of course you do need a USB port in order to connect the unifying receiver the unifying receiver will connect up to six devices so if you have six other Logitech devices uh, this will connect to just this one receiver and you can see it's pretty low profile and small so it's ideal for laptops so let's go ahead and and unbox this. We just pick up this plastic cover and inside we have instructions for releasing the mouse from its little holder here. So basically all you have to do is hold down this tab here, it pops right off. So there is our mouse, we'll take a look at that in just a minute. And we have our little receiver which should just slide out. There we go. It looks like we have a little packet here probably containing batteries. So again we see our batteries right there. We have our little cover, so that's a cover, battery cover, our literature, looks like a carrying case, so again this is ideal for carrying this with your laptop. Now the interesting thing about the M600 is that it will operate with just one battery installed, so you do not need to install both, so that lightens the uh, mouse quite a bit. Another great thing about the M600 is that you can stow the USB unifying receiver in the battery compartment, so you just there's a slot dedicated to it and it fits right in, so you can close the battery compartment and you're set to go. Now let's go ahead and turn the mouse on and take a look around. Now taking a little look at the mouse itself, you can see we have this glossy plastic covering along with this printed pattern underneath which sort of disappears into this black void in the center. So it's kind of a neat design. On the side you have this sort of ridge pattern underneath the plastic. The foot itself is actually part of the click mechanism. So this is what clicks, not the uh, top part or anything like that. It's just the bottom. So you have to be on the surface in order for this to click. You can't sort of click, grip this in the air and click on it. You have to be on the surface. Now if you look at the Magic Mouse versus the M600, you can see that both of them have this glossy touch panel. But the Magic Mouse is a little more square while the Logitech has this rounded design. This makes it a little more ergonomic to hold. It fits your hand better. The other difference here is that the M600 is taller than the Magic Mouse. So again, it fills your palm a little more comfortably than the Magic Mouse. Now the real difference here lies in the material. So the Magic Mouse is a much more simple and elegant design and it's made out of aluminum and polycarbonate. Again, very, very rigid, feels very solid to use. The M600 is all plastic. It's a little more creaky. There's a little more uh, parts going on here. It doesn't feel quite as solid and rigid, but overall the click function feels very nice again you have the right amount of sensitivity and feedback I think it works pretty nicely it's definitely a very comfortable mouse to use and it's very conventional it's it's like using any other standard mouse you're used to uh, it's pretty comfortable the magic mouse definitely isn't the most comfortable or ergonomic mouse to use but I definitely like it largely because on the Mac you really need the magic mouse in order to take advantage of the multi-touch and gesturing features you have on the Mac platform now, in terms of setup it is pretty easy all you have to do is plug in the USB unifying receiver and you're set to go you don't have to install additional software. You can improve scrolling performance by installing Logitech's Flow Scroll app. So this works with Windows 7 only. So let's go ahead and install that. As you can see before I install it, you can see the scrolling isn't the smoothest possible. So let's go to download software, install it, and see the difference. Now with smooth scrolling installed, you can see performance is now much better. In fact, you have some physics here. So if you want to move down the page a little faster, just move your finger a little faster. Snap to the top of the page just by swiping your finger faster. So pretty cool. In terms of web browsing, again, you have up and down or uh, left and right again. Left and right will take you back. So let's go back a page. So again, we're just browsing through our history. If we want to go forward, just swipe forward. 
So you get the idea. Now in terms of the horizontal scrolling here, again, all you, all you can do is go back and forward. So I've opened the photo gallery here and we're going forward. Now we're going back. So you get the idea. It works pretty well, pretty quick. The Logitech M600 will work with the Mac. All you have to do is plug in the Unifying receiver and it will work with the drivers already installed. So again, this is just using the standard drivers, but that causes some problems. So while I can mouse around just fine, I can click on Safari, I can right click, which is just fine. I can scroll up and down. Now the only problem with this mouse on the Mac is that when you swipe horizontally, it launches the app switcher. So you can't get out of this. This happens no matter what you're doing. So if you're in Safari and you want to go back a page, swiping left won't take you back. It just launches the app switcher. So until Logitech launches some software for the Mac, uh, you're kind of stuck with this. So hopefully they do it eventually so you can use this mouse with a Mac. But unfortunately, the other big problem here is you lose all those multi-touch gesturing options you have with a trackpad or with the Magic Mouse. So again, don't buy this if you have a Mac. This is for a PC. Now overall, I'm pretty impressed with the hardware for the Logitech M600, but where I think it really fails is software. So this isn't the mouse I'd recommend if you're a PC user and want something like the Magic Mouse. Instead, I would look at Microsoft's Touch Mouse, and that's because there's much better software support, and that mouse supports multi-touch. So you get a lot more gesturing features with the uh, with the Microsoft mouse versus the Logitech. So for example, I think the fact that you can't side scroll on the Logitech is unacceptable. You can do that on the Microsoft mouse and you can do things like three fingers to reveal all windows uh, or swipe three fingers to reveal all windows or use two fingers to um, reveal windows side by side. You get a lot more features with the Microsoft mouse versus the Logitech mouse. So that's going to do for me guys in this review. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.